downtown New Orleans. This is what it looked like just a moment ago in the heart of New Orleans. Folks, there's no place for this noise to go in the Superdome. It is loud, and these fans are ready for football as their Saints get ready to do battle with Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. <laughs> Throwing on first is Lance. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. A bad start there. A big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. To throw, it's Wentz. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. That one good for 26 and a first down. On first and 10, here's Wentz. And that's going to be incomplete. Clean, too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Wentz going to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Wins and complete to Zach Ertz. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 43. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. Here's Wentz to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. That doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. It is hard in zone coverage to stop a curl route because when they see it, they just try and find the open spot and sit down. Yeah, we always talk about finding the soft spot in the zone. What's the key to doing that? How do you do it? You have to read what the coverage is. Is it too deep? Is it three deep? Because then you know where the linebackers are going to drop, what spots in the field they naturally get to, and you find that open space, and then you're in sync with your quarterback. He should be reading the exact same thing, and they put the ball right on you. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Win to throw for it on four. And he connects with Ertz. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. Wins now on first down. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. It's got some fun when we see guys like that make that type of a catch. Not fair goes through my brain. That size, that speed, and now they're acting like wide receivers too. Yeah, tight end one-handed catches. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Certainly not what they wanted defensively. We're hoping to hold them to a field goal. Instead, they're able to convert the third and long here on the 
opening run. So not only was it a flip in field position and a flip in fortunes, but how about mentally? You just described it. They were hoping to force him into a field goal there. Instead, they give up the big game, and now it's first and goal. The offense got them on their heels. Howard all alone in the backfield on second and goal. They get it to him running left. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. We're scoreless after one. The crowd here in the dome making things difficult. Third and goal. Now wins. And it's intercepted at the goal line. It's the line. 